So many people have been having a little bit of difficulty with the star spectra gizmo, so I'm going to give you a few hints here. Um, so first thing I suggest that you do on the gizmo is to click to show the labels. That way you have the stars numbered, okay, and you know which one you're looking at. All right, notice on the right side that you have the spectra of different elements. So this is what hydrogen looks like through a spectra. Different gases will burn at different colors. They'll also have different uh, gaps, let's say, in, our, in the rainbow. Okay, pure white light has a mixture of everything and has a perfect rainbow, but when you look at specific gases, they have different parts missing, right? This is the spectra. All right, now when we look at different stars, we see that each star has a different spectra. Okay, and we're going to use the star spectra and the star's color to determine what is burning inside, what elements are inside that star or nebula. Okay, the next thing I want you to pay attention to is that some of the stars, when we look at their spectra, it's not really changing, it's not really doing anything. But others, like if I look on number 8 here, well look, it's getting brighter, and now it's getting darker, and it's getting brighter. So that's something else that's going on in there that tells um, astronomers things. Number 9. Notice that if you stare at it for a while, that the lines are shifting. Now, they are shifting in opposite directions, right? This one's moving this way, this one's moving left, right? Once some lines are moving towards the red, while some lines are moving away from it, but at the same time, okay? Same thing with 10, that they're shifting back and forth. They're shifting towards the red, they're shifting towards the blue, right? And you'll also notice that 7, this is a nebula, Notice that it is opposite. Instead of colors with black lines, we now have blackness with colored lines. All right, so here's what we're going to look at first. We're going to start with number one, okay? So number one, first of all, I notice that it is a kind of a light blue color, okay? A light blue color. So on the worksheet, all right, let's move up to... This little chart here. This little chart will show us um, basically the classes of the stars, what colors they look at, so we can look at the color and, and narrow that down, and then it'll tell us what's in it. So this says a blue or blue-white. So one is going to probably be a blue or blue-white. Now notice that each one has a different kind of gas in it. One has ionized helium and hydrogen, the other one has neutral helium and hydrogen. Now if we go back to the gizmo, here's neutral, here's ionic. Neutral, ionic. Notice that they all change except for hydrogen. So hydrogen is the same whether it is neutral or ionic, but all the other ones do not change. So let's drag neutral hydrogen over. What you can do is drag it over and see if they match up. Now. If they match up, but not every single line is present, that means that this star has more than one uh, element in it, right? Notice that hydrogen does match up, even though not every line is in the hydrogen, but every line in the hydrogen is in star number one. So I mean, star number one does have hydrogen, but we're not sure if it's ionic or neutral hydrogen, because once again, hydrogen's the same. So let's look at helium and see if neutral helium is in there. I would have to say that neutral helium looks like that's in there. So the hydrogen and helium together make up all of these lines. Just to show you what I'm talking about, the same thing, new ionic hydrogen would still match up in this case because hydrogen doesn't change. However, the helium ionic does change. Notice that it no longer matches up. So we know that number one is a bluish color and has neutral hydrogen and helium. So I'm going to go back over here and neutral helium and hydrogen right here, blue white. I know that number one is class B. So down in my chart, color, I'm going to put blue white and I'm going to put class B. 
elements in the spectrum, neutral hydrogen and helium. Okay, got that right out of the chart. The surface temperature. This is the surface temperature of those stars. So that is now going out of coming right from there. So yes, I'm copying right from the chart, but I first have to determine oops, where which one it is. Okay? Number two. Right? So I go along to number two, find number two, do the same thing. Find out which of the elements are in there. Now number two looks sort of a yellowish orange. It's either going to be one of the yellow orange ones. Okay? Now when we get down a little bit further, we're going to get to the 5, 6, 7, and 8, okay? And we're going to start seeing some unusual features, okay? And these are the things that I was talking about before, where they might um, shift around, or they might be thicker than normal. They, right, here's the ones that shift around. So when they do shift around back and forth, that is something that you will need to put in the unusual features. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to find the elements. Therefore, you're going to determine, um, see what color it looks like and what class it is uh, using this chart, just like you did before. But now you're going to tell me, like, what were the unusual features? Put anything that you see there, all right? And then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are going to match up with one of these. Okay, here's a, ne a nebula that has an emission spectrum. Well, I already showed you the nebula. An emission spectrum means that it has the bright lines of color against a dark background. So you'll already know that was this one, number seven. Okay, um, we already talked about, um, see a binary star where the two spectra shift in opposite directions. Red shift and blue shift. Okay, so that pretty much takes you through it. You just need to match up the correct elements to see what is that star made of. You're going to classify according to its color and what it's made out of and use that to fill in the chart. And like I said, just watch them, the high numbers especially, to see what is happening here. Are the lines moving? Are they staying still? What are they doing? All right. And if you have any further questions, please message me on Schoology. I would love to help.